Uh, Robert Smalls was born enslaved behind his enslaver's mansion on Prince Street. And by the time Robert Smalls is about 10 or 12 years old, he was actually leased out to work on the docks and shipyards in Charleston. And that's where he is when the Civil War breaks out. Well, one night in May of 1862, the enslaved crew members on board the planter get left unattended. And Robert Smalls and the other enslaved crew members kind of look at each other and say, you thinking what I'm thinking, let's get out of here. So they fire up the steam engines and they sail out towards freedom. Now, this isn't just a spur of the moment decision. They've likely been planning this for some time. And we know that because they pull up at another wharf and rescue their families. And he comes back home to Beaufort and he gets here right as the tax auctions are beginning. And he decides, you know what? I want to own some property, but I don't want to own just any property. I want to own that property. He purchases the mansion that he had once been enslaved in. He purchased his, his enslaver's old antebellum uh, mansion on Prince Street. 